The Vanishing Stars. A cosmic warning from the edge of the universe. The universe, vast, mysterious, and infinite, has always concealed secrets far beyond our comprehension. At times, these deep cosmic puzzles stand in the way of progress, holding back answers crucial for the advancement of science. But now, a new mystery has emerged. One so profound it's beginning to shake the very foundation of modern cosmology. Recent data from the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced space observatory ever built, has revealed something deeply unsettling. A phenomenon that defies all known physics. A mystery that's left astronomers stunned and theories in question. At the center of this enigma is a discovery that could challenge the Big Bang theory itself. According to researchers like Dr. Joel Ron and others, the findings suggest something unthinkable. Over 900 trillion stars have seemingly vanished, with no warning and no trace. Since its launch, the $10 billion James Webb Space Telescope, stationed 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, has delivered astonishing results. It peers farther into space and deeper into time than any instrument before it. In mid-2022, it began detecting long wavelength light from the earliest galaxies, radiation so stretched by the expansion of space that it lies far beyond the visible spectrum, in the realm of redshifted ultraviolet. But as it scanned the deep sky, scientists noticed something shocking, entire galactic regions, once teeming with light from hundreds of trillions of stars, were now eerily empty. These stars had been catalogued, studied, and analyzed. Their light had been measured. Their positions mapped. Now, they are simply gone. No supernovae. No black hole signatures. No faint glow in the infrared. Nothing. The implications are staggering. How can so many stars disappear without any remnants? Theories have emerged in an attempt to explain this unprecedented cosmic silence. One idea is that the stars may still exist but are now cloaked in an unknown form of cosmic dust or have entered a never-before-seen phase of evolution, one that drastically dims their brightness to near invisibility. Others hypothesize that they collapsed directly into black holes without exploding, contrary to everything we know about how stars die. But there's a more unsettling possibility, that the universe itself is changing, undergoing a transformation in its very structure. A shift in the cosmic fabric. A quiet erasure. For nearly a century, astronomers have known that the universe is expanding. The further away a galaxy is, the faster it appears to be moving. This became the cornerstone of the Big Bang Theory. Then, in the late 1990s, scientists made a shocking discovery. The expansion isn't slowing down. It's speeding up. This acceleration means that distant galaxies are being pulled away from us faster and faster, so quickly, in fact, that even light, the fastest thing in the universe, can't always keep up. When we observe a galaxy whose light took 100 million years to reach us, that galaxy is now much farther away than it was when the light left it. The space in between has stretched in the meantime. This stretching of space lengthens light waves, a phenomenon called redshift, and it's not the galaxies moving through space, it's space itself expanding between us and them. Webb has allowed scientists to measure these redshifts with incredible precision. By comparing the true brightness of distant galaxies to how dim they appear, astronomers can reconstruct how the universe has expanded over time. But the more they study, the deeper the mystery grows. Some light is so redshifted, so stretched, that its source may no longer exist in any form we understand. These extreme distortions reveal not just distance, but the changing nature of the universe itself. Roughly 68% of the universe is made of dark energy, an invisible force driving the accelerated expansion. About 27% is dark matter, which we can't see but know is there because of its gravitational effects. That leaves only about 5% for everything we're familiar with, stars, planets. As dark energy continues to dominate the large-scale structure of the cosmos, galaxies that are not gravitationally tethered to our local group, the Milky Way, Andromeda, and a few dozen smaller galaxies, are being swept away into the unreachable. They are crossing what physicists call the cosmic event horizon, a boundary in space-time beyond which no information, 
no matter how fast or powerful, can ever return to us. Even light, the fastest thing in the universe, is no longer fast enough. The light emitted by these galaxies today will never reach us, not now, not in a million years, not ever. They are effectively vanishing from our reality, still existing somewhere out there, but permanently disconnected from our cosmic timeline. At this very moment, right now, an estimated 20,000 to 60,000 stars per second are crossing that horizon. Their ancient light still travels toward us from earlier eras, allowing us to glimpse what they once were. But the light they emit from this second onward will be forever lost to us, stolen by the expanding fabric of space itself. It's as if we are stranded on an island of illumination, surrounded by an ocean of growing darkness. A luminous archipelago fading one beacon at a time. The observable universe, the part of the cosmos from which light has had time to reach us since the Big Bang, is unimaginably vast, about 93 billion light-years across. Yet astonishingly, we now estimate that 94% of the galaxies within this sphere have already drifted beyond our reach. Only 6% remain potentially accessible. This is not merely a cosmological observation, it's a profound existential moment. We are witnessing the universe closing in on itself, not in a physical collapse, but in a cosmic isolation driven by dark energy. The window through which we can study, explore, and understand the vast cosmos is slowly narrowing. Humanity exists in an extraordinarily rare and delicate epoch, a brief sliver of time when we can still see the ancient light of galaxies that existed billions of years ago. In another few billion years, even that will be gone. If intelligent life arises in the far future, it may never know a universe beyond its own galaxy. The sky will grow darker, quieter, lonelier. If we ever hope to reach beyond our galactic neighborhood, beyond the Milky Way and its neighboring giant, Andromeda, we must act while this brief opportunity still exists. The accelerating expansion of space will soon turn our cosmic neighbors into ghostly shadows, forever beyond our reach. This unsettling truth forces us to ask deeper, more profound questions. Could the disappearance of stars and galaxies be a sign of something far more complex than just expansion? Is the universe itself undergoing a phase transition, much like water turning into ice, a transformation of its fundamental nature? Or could this be evidence of advanced civilizations, wielding technologies so powerful that they manipulate the structure of space itself? Could vast regions of the universe be hidden from view, not by nature, but by intelligent design? Once thought of as pure science fiction, such questions are now being carefully considered by cosmologists and theoretical physicists alike. Every new image from the James Webb Space Telescope seems to challenge the boundaries between what is possible and what is real. The missing 900 trillion stars may represent more than a mystery, they may be a warning. The cosmos is not static. It is in motion, unfolding and accelerating beyond our grasp. And with every passing second, more of it is gone forever. We are not at the center. We are not eternal. But we are present. We are alive during one of the most precious moments in cosmic history, the moment of awareness. And within this fleeting interval, we must decide, will we merely observe, or will we reach? Will we cling to comfort, or will we embrace the great unknown? Because in the last light of fading stars, we may find the answer to our most ancient question, not just about where we are in the universe, but who we are, and what our destiny could be. We must push forward, with curiosity as our compass, and exploration as our mission. For in doing so, we may uncover not only